Girl, you better get on Team Mobile. Damn, Ariana Grande stresses me out. Oh my god. <sighs> did, she, did, legit, the first part of the story is about nothing. Like the announcements don't be about shit. It don't have shit to do with the story. Legit. <laughs> Alex, why did you kiss him? Calm down, Hawk. I didn't meet, I didn't kiss that dickhead. It sure looked like you were from where I was standing. Well, you were standing too far away to see what actually happened, but here you are jumping to conclusions. I just don't like guys touching you, okay? You're mine and nobody else's. Um, let's refer. Listen, Calhan, you can cut that possessive crap right now because it's not cute. I belong to no man. I belong to myself. Oh, really? Yes, really. Do you have anything else to say? Yes, I do. I have no idea why your why your hypocritical ass thinks you can lecture me when guys flirt with me. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Since we've met, about five girls has been all over you. You've slept with basically all of them. Right now, I caught you flirting with some orange hair slut but you see me throwing punches and wait 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 but do you see me throwing punches and pulling out guns you don't have a gun shut the hell up you almost killed a guy today just because he kissed me and i don't regret it i would have if you didn't uh and i would have if you didn't distract me you have no right to be angry judging angry judging by your womanizing past that's different, Valentina. Really? You slept with God knows how many women, and you expect me to be okay with that. But some random guy kisses me today, and you act like you caught us having sex. Hmm. Well, is it okay that a random guy just randomly kissed you? I mean, you don't know what the fuck he got on, your, on his mouth, girl. What are you trying to say? When we get married, you're allowed to sleep with as many girls as you want, but when a guy even looks at me, he's a he's dead meat. That's not what I meant, and you know it. Don't insult my intelligence, Alex. That's exactly what you meant. Look, I wasn't flirting with that girl, okay? She was all over you, Alex. Was she one of your past conquests? No, she was just a random fangirl that it happens sometimes. Why? Because you're so handsome. No, because I'm a celebrity, but the handsome <laughs> comment is correct, too. So, you're telling me girls sometimes throw themselves on you because you're a celebrity. Girl, yeah. But I would never act upon their advances or any girl's advances. And why is that? Because I respect you. Hmm. Hmm. Alex's words echoed in her head over and over again because I was fucking special. Did he really mean that? Was he trying to say he would be faithful to me during our marriage? To be honest, I thought he would continue with his womanizing ways after we got married. But now I don't know what to think. He looked genuine and honest when he said those words. Could he change his womanizing ways for me? No, he wouldn't. Once a player what? Always a player, right, girl? Look, Val, I'm sorry for reacting so strongly. I tend to have a bit of an anger problem sometimes. And I wasn't flirting with that girl, Val, I promise. I was trying to get away from her. It didn't look like you were from where I was standing. Well, you were too far away to see what actually happened. <laughs> but here you are jumping to conclusions. Don't don't use my own words against me, girl. I can do whatever I want. I'm Alexander, bitch. Okay, and you're back to being cocky. I noticed um, the the fist Alex used to punch the douchebag was already bruising. Angry red and purple welts across angry, I mean Ale angry, Alex's hand. <laughs> they looked painful. Did you hurt your hand? I'm fine. Just a few bruises. Let me help you out. I'm fine, Valentina. I'm helping you out whether you want me to or not. Okay, okay fucking Christ. Alex and I both sit in the sand and I start to tend to his hand. What, what, what are you really doing? Because bitch, you ain't getting no supplies. 
<laughs> so how are you tending to it? He doesn't show any signs of pain, which amuses me. He must have a high tolerance, a high pain tolerance. Um, then again, he's being the next heir of Irish mafia requires you to be tough. And, you know, after a few minutes, I realize I'm face to face with Alex's bare chest. Holy shit. I only saw a glimpse of his body earlier on, but now I can see the full view of this perfect chest, honey. It was perfectly sculpted, toned, and hard. There was not one ounce of fat on his chest. Alex definitely worked out, honey. Val. Valentina. Val. Um, yes. You weren't listening to me, were you? I was focused on fixing your hand. Or focused on my chest. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> what makes you think that? You stopped working and started, uh, and you stopped working and stared at my chest for about two minutes. Lies. You're lying. Sure, I am, princess. Alex gives me a knowing smile <laughs> as if to tell me he didn't believe my bullshit. Girl, because that was bullshit. Wipe that grin off your face, Calvin. Why? You don't like my smile? No, I hate it. Now stay still so I can finish your hand. Yes, ma'am. After I finished wrapping Alex's hand, what did you wrap his hand with? You didn't have shit. You didn't have shit to wrap his hand with. He pulled me down to the sand with him and wrapped his arms around me. I tensed at first. I tensed. Yeah, I said first, but eventually relaxed in his embrace. I spent the rest of the day, well, the rest of the afternoon, wrapped in Alex's arm in, a, in the warm beach sand. I watched the sun slowly to set on the horizon as I lay comfortably in Alex's arms. I feel so relaxed at the at and at peace. I almost forget about tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will no longer be Valentina Giovanni. Tomorrow, I will marry Alex. And tomorrow night, I'm expected to sleep with him. Suddenly, my fear and nerves return and I tense up. Alex notices immediately. What's wrong, Monica? Oh, I... what's wrong, girl? Nothing. Don't lie to me, Val. I know something's bothering you. What's going to happen? On our wedding night. Well, Val, usually on wedding nights, people. I know what they do, Callahan. Just making sure. Are are we, you know, going to, you know. Do you want to, you know? <laughs> no. I mean, no. I, I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> well, then we won't. We won't. But I thought that I will take you without your consent. <laughs> I might be a bastard, but I'm not that type of bastard. <laughs> Alex's voice was cold and hard as he harshly spit out his uh. words. I could tell I had offended him. It's just most mafia men wouldn't care if his wife didn't want to have sex with him, especially on their wedding night. But I know you're not like that, Alex. I never thought you were. Thank you, Val. <sighs> Are you nervous about tomorrow? Tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? I have no plans. Alex, I'm being serious. Oh, okay, okay. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. But you've always seemed comfortable with calling me your wife. I only do it because it annoys you. Asshole. Thanks. Um, Both of our lives are going to change tomorrow, Val. I know. You won't be living with your family anymore. I know. And you'll be an easy target for to my enemies. You're not making me feel better, Callahan. Just making sure you know what you're getting into. I can't back out, Alex, even if I wanted to. I know, me too. For the first time since this marriage was announced, I realized that Alex was also forced into this marriage. But also forced to marry a complete stranger he didn't know or love. Um, Maybe Alex and I weren't so different after all. Val, hmm? I know that we're not in love, but tomorrow we'll make we'll be making vows that suggest otherwise. Ironic, huh? I think we should try to get along with each other. We're stuck with each other. So death do us part, right? Is that why this is called till death do us part? <laughs> uh, if we're not strangers, this marriage if we weren't strangers, 
if we weren't not strangers, if we were not strangers, okay, I don't think that's the word that she was going for, we're, if we are not strangers, that's, that's what that means, this marriage will be more bearable, right? I guess you're right. I'm always right, princess. Shut up, Callahan. Um, what time is it? 11.53. Are you sure you can drive all the way home? You didn't sleep a wink. Who says we're going home now? We're not going home, but it's almost midnight. And our wedding is tomorrow. We seriously should start heading back. The deal was that you would be my servant for a whole day. A day consists of 24 hours last time I checked. That means you have to be my servant until exactly 4.48 a.m. You know, I was really liking I was really liking being your servant until this moment. <laughs> when am I going to sleep? You can sleep now. Are you sure? Sure, I'll tell you when we arrive to our next destination. When we arrive at our next destination, what are you, like a GPS system? Yes, Val, I'm a GPS system. You're so weird. Back up off me, kid. Sleep, Val, I'll wake you again. Thanks, man, you're the best. I know. <sighs> Thank you, what to do. Okay, there you go. Had that. Um, would a person as arrogant as me actually say thank you? Mm, probably not. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, oh, again, I'm always right. You've managed to exhaust me even more, Callahan. It's special. It's a special talent of mine. Ugh. Good night, Alex. Good night, Valentina. Val, Valentina, we're here. Get out of the car, sleepyhead. Where are we now? We're going to get some dinner. At the waffle place you took me to this afternoon? No, princess. They're closed by now. Aw, oh, man. Come on, Val. Don't be too sad. This place is really good, too. Well, judging by where you took me this afternoon, I trust your restaurant choosing instincts. Thanks. Let's go. This place looks nice. Let's go find a seat. Can you stop updating my game? Hi, I'll be your waiter for this evening. Can I take your drink orders? Let me get a lemonade, though. I have some lemonade, please. Lemonade, really? What's wrong with the lemonade? It's natural juice. And nature's juice, my head, nature's juice, what the hell is hell? It's true, nothing better than an ice cold glass of lemonade, nothing better than that nice cold glass of whiskey. You're only saying that because you're Irish, damn right. So I'm assuming you'll take a glass of whiskey, hell yeah. <laughs> All you ever drink is whiskey. I'm Irish, baby, whiskey is like water to me. I love it when he calls me baby. Wait, what? What the hell is happening to me? You okay there? Ugh, mon gras. You look like you're having an internal struggle. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, um, tired. Yeah, I'm really tired. That was a lame-ass lie, but I'm gonna just go with it. Well, we still have three more hours left, so hang in there. Okay. Let's play 20 questions while we wait for our drink. Right now, that doesn't that take a long time to play? Fine, we'll make it three questions. <laughs> you ask one question, then I'll ask one. No limits, no passes, and answer honestly. Deal. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to. I would like to know how many girls have you slept with this year total? Oh. <laughs> Come on, tell me. 5, 10, 42. God damn. You get the. How do you begin a house? Okay. You slept with 42 girls. When did you lose your virginity at 13? Keep your voice down. I lost my virginity when I was 16. That means you slept with about eight different girls a year. Yeah. Hmm. 
getting jealous, princess? You wish. I'm just concerned about your health. <laughs> My health? Yes. I have you... <laughs> Have you not con- uh, contacted? Uh, how? Oh, how? Wait, wait! Stop moving! Jesus freaking Christ! How have you not contracted every STD known to mankind? I'm always sure. Uh, I always make sure I use protection. Stop! Let me see. I don't. I don't know what you did. What the hell is this? Uh. And I always make sure the person I'm with is clean. Hmm. Slut. Thanks. I didn't like the thought of Alex sleeping with so many women. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows Alexander. (gasps) Calhan is one of the biggest womanizers on the planet, but still. 42 girls? Like, how? But one thought kept on popping up in my head. One thought kept on bothering me. Were you in love with any of them? I keep my voice level and uneasy. And oh, and easy going. But my heart is beating <laughs> ferociously out of my head. Um, I wanted to know if Alex had a girl out there that he was in love with. If he did, I had no idea how that would make me feel. But if he didn't, that would prove his lack of commitment and confirm my suspicions that he was heartless when it came to love. I thought you only got one question. Uh, Give me a freebie, please. Fine. I didn't love any of them. All those girls meant only one thing to me. Sex. Well, that's relieving, yet disappointing. Alex wasn't in love with anyone else. But was he even capable of love? I think I'm done with you for now, Callahan. Thank God. Now it's my turn. Hit me. What happened between you and Rosalind? What? It's obvious you guys are estranged. What caused it? Jay, her ex-boyfriend, made Rosalind hate me. Who's Jay? You only get one question. Fine, but one day you'll tell me about Jay. Yeah, right. There's no way I would ever tell anyone about Jay. I promised Rosalind I would never tell anyone. And it was a promise I was never going to break. Here are your drinks. Can I take your uh, food orders now? Let's say two orders of your shrimp alfredo, please. Yes, hit me with it. Coming right up, child. I want mac and cheese. This is a five-star restaurant. They don't serve mac and cheese here. What type of restaurant doesn't serve mac and cheese? <laughs> this one. Here's your food. Enjoy. Bitch, that shit came up quick. Them fucking drinks took long like shit. <laughs> this restaurant sucks. You haven't even tried the food. A restaurant that doesn't have mac and cheese is a horrible restaurant. Just try the damn food. Fine. It's good, right? Shut up and let me eat, Alex. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are we going to go home after this? We still have two hours. You don't want me to sleep, do you? We can go home if you really want to. I don't want to go home yet. Me neither. Well, me either. Alright, people. Let's see where the hell they about to go in the next episode.